Welcome and hello everyone. During the course of this informational segment, I'd like to alert you, the small business person, to Massachusetts proposed law, House Docket Number 4420, otherwise known as HD 4420. More specifically, this alert goes out to real estate agents, electricians, plumbers, HVAC technicians, and others who travel throughout the Commonwealth for the benefit of other Massachusetts residents and businesses. I suggest that the proposed law will have no effect on the career criminal or drug dealer who may be out on bail, but has the potential to make you, the legally licensed gun owner, less safe as you go about your business earning money for you and your family. I further suggest that the proposed law will not stop drive-by shootings. My name is Gordon Feener and I'm the chief editor of Mass2Ablog.com. The full language of the proposed law containing 140 uh, pages can be obtained by Googling House Docket Number 4420 or HD 4420. The relevant section that I want to dry, draw your attention to in this informational segment is located on pages 124 and 125 of the proposed law. In these pages, it contains section 173, lined at numbers 2604 through 2622. The following is for your consideration as a sample of what certain state representatives are looking to do to restrict your constitutional rights as protected by the Bill of Rights. The proposed law will limit your ability to enter private property with your firearm unless you have the prior express approval from the owner. Should you fail to get prior express approval, you could be arrested and go to jail for up to two and a half years and face a fine of up to $1,000. This section of the proposed law beginning on line 2610 defines prohibited area to include any part of the building in grounds or parking area of any private property, including but not limited to residential, commercial, industrial, agricultural, institutional, or undeveloped property, unless the owner has provided express consent or has posted a sign indicating that it is permissible to carry on the premises a firearm with a valid and lawfully issue firearm license or permit under chapter 140. Consider the situation where you in the early evening go out to provide services to a customer or client and you decide to get gas and go through a drive through of a certain donut shop that shares the same building and parking lot as the gas station. If you enter that parking lot without getting the permission of the owner, you could be arrested under the proposed law. Ask yourself, will the career criminal see this as an opportunity to assault you, possibly with deadly force, while you're simply doing your job? I suggest that you as a small business owner or employee may have obtained your license to carry to protect your life so you can work and provide for your family. If you cannot legally carry, you may be forced to make a decision whether you will be able to provide services to certain areas at certain times of the day or night. I suggest that the reality is that most times the police can only respond after the fact and after they've been notified of the event and not while the event or the attack is occurring. You have most likely invested time and money in your concealed carry firearm, but now you need to pick up the phone and make a call to your state representative if you feel strongly about this issue and your rights under the Constitution. The purpose of this video is not to take a position concerning the proposed law, but to alert you. Should you wish to contact your state representative and exercise your First Amendment rights to voice your opinion in protection of your Second Amendment rights, 
Their contact information is located on the Massachusetts State House website, www.malegislate.gov. You may also wish to consider reaching out to a neighbor, friend, or co-worker who is also a legally licensed gun owner, making them aware of the proposed law and its ramifications. As I've indicated in a previous and companion YouTube video, I do not represent any specific group or organization with this video segment. You have rights under the Second Amendment of the Constitution, and I suggest that this proposed law seeks to impair and destroy some of those rights. Hopefully this segment has given you sufficient information and direction in order to further educate yourself on the issue of House Docket 4420. For additional information, you may wish to visit our website at www.mass2ablog.com. In conclusion, I'd like to thank you for listening to this informational and educational segment. I remind you that this segment is not legal advice, but should only be provided by a knowledgeable and competent attorney. Again, thank you for watching this segment. Stay safe and have a good day.